is um well here's where we're at right now I got the hole more or less cleaned out I had to use a, um, use some drills it's not perfect but I said this car is 15 years old I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sweat it too much if it was two you know three years old and out of warranty I wouldn't care I scuffed up the valve cover a little bit again no big deal I had to clean that boot up a little bit that seemed to be in good shape um, the rest of these coils um, looking at them they don't look too bad obviously the number two is out I took that out of here and this is what I found and I had a feeling that this was gonna be the issue you see that crack right on the top That was all that it took to let moisture get in here and cause this to misfire. So, that one's junk. Oh, sorry, hit my intake. So, I pulled that. I've got to get a screw to go in here to hold that, hold this coil down. Then I've got to clean up the valve cover. So, I'm going to be getting some engine cleaner. I'm going to just kind of go over it really lightly. Get that cleaned up. Um, and then I had to get a spark plug wrench because the one that I've got is not holding plugs in it anymore. And I want to get a magnetic one anyway. Also had a hose that was pretty tore up, so we're going to replace that while we're under there, while the intake's off. And so we're going to have to go to the hardware store to do that. I've got all the gaskets for it. I obviously have a replacement for the one coil on this that's bad. I'm not going to replace all six of them. I was, but so far Amazon hasn't sent them to me yet. So it's not coming in until the 12th. And this one cost me about 60 bucks just for one coil. It would have been about 225 for all six, but I'm not into replacing anything more than I have to. I mean, unless unless the price is right. And obviously, for 60 bucks a coil, at least for this madman, the price isn't right. So, um, so we're going to go there. I think we may end up even changing the oil on this beast today, even though it was just done. Um, I want to put some good stuff in it. We've got spark plugs that are going to go in. We've got a manifold set that's going to go in. Of course, we got the Felpro. I mean, some people have different opinions about them, but as long as they work, that's what I got. So, we're going to go close this video out and we'll keep get going in on this thing. Taking the intake manifold off was not hard, it took me less than 15 minutes to get this out of here, and that was just just using a little common sense and kind of paying attention to where things go. There wasn't that much to, to get out of here. It's just, it's just one more thing in the way of the plugs. So again, nothing to worry about. Don't sweat it. It's just, just get it handled. <laughs>